In 1954, President Eisenhower issued the first Presidential Veterans Day proclamation. He set aside November the 11th in order that a grateful nation might pay appropriate homage to the veterans of all its wars who have contributed so much to the preservation of our nation. So this Veterans Day, Laura and I join our fellow Americans in saluting all the brave men and women who have served in the United States Armed Forces. The service of America's veterans does not end when they leave the battlefield. Veterans continue to serve our nation when they return home. We have seen that throughout America's history, from those like my dad who served in World War II, to the men and women who volunteered to defend our country after September the 11th, 2001. We can never fully repay the debt we owe to the men and women who wear the uniform, but it is our duty to try. Over the next five years, more than a million Americans will complete their military service. Some will face challenges readjusting to civilian life. As these veterans prepare for their new missions as civilians, communities, businesses, and nonprofits are stepping forward to help. The Bush Institute's Military Service Initiative is working to help Americans understand how they can support our veterans and empower them to succeed. Each of us can give back to the veterans in our own community. We can hire them and help them translate their skills that are useful in a new career. We can support the nonprofit organizations that care for them and their families. We can get to know our vets better and help them lead their communities and their nation as generations before them have. I have confidence in our country because I know the character of the men and women who protect it. So do all our veterans. Laura and I offer our heartfelt thanks. May God bless you and may God continue to bless this great land.